Welcome back, it's Chris at Vincent Carpentry. Today I'm going to show you how to install 35mm concealed hinges on cabinet doors. Two techniques I use, one's with 35mm hinge drill bit and the other is with the Blum Eco Drill. So I'll take you through the process for both. So to start with, what I'm going to do is mark from the top and the bottom of the door to the centre of where I want my hinges. On this door, I'm going to do it at 80 millimetres. And then, when you're using the 35 millimetre hinge drill bit, you need to mark 23 millimetres in from the outside of your door to the centre of the drill bit. This will set it at the correct distance away. I just use a bridle just so the drill bit's got something to centre on. With this drill bit, I just go slightly past the top of the drill bit and that sets it to the correct depth for the recess for the cup hinge. So the next step is put the hinge in the closed position, push the hinge into the recess you've just created, use a set square to make sure the hinge is set square and then all I do is just use a bridle to give me the centres for the screws to go. The other way I do this is with the Blum Eco Drill. All you need to do with this is align the rebate in the centre of the body, push the cam down, make sure it's pushed all the way into the door, and then use a Torx 40 bit and a drill. Push down on the drill until it hits the body. Now you can do the same on these two which will create a 8mm diameter for the Blum screws but I don't use those so Then all I do is again put the hinge in the closed position, set it in the door, make sure it's square and then I use one of these self centering jaw bits to pilot the holes. As you can see, two hinges drilled in two different tools. Personally, I think the Blum does it with a slightly nicer finish. That's not to say with a new cutter that isn't probably a year old, you wouldn't get the same finish with one of these. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe and leave any comments in the comments, comments section below.